He's right this way. How's he been behaving lately, Doc? Pretty well. He got violent about a month ago, and we had to bring him down here and put him in a padded cell. Has he been acting up this last week? Pretty much so, but we gave him tranquilizers to calm him down. I believe he'll be all right. David, you've got a visitor. Thanks, Doc. How are you feeling, David? Uh, what's the, uh, cross for? To protect you from the curse? Dave, I've got something to show you. But you said he was tranquilized. Oh, I thought he was. Lee, will you check him? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, here's the cross. Somehow I ended up with it. Oh, a uh, cigarette, Doc? Mm -mm. Oh, what's the uh, tape recorder for? Listen. Okay, now, sit down here. Let me go. You better hold him down. Cross, I got him. Cross, please. All right, David. We'll Just get you. Just with a crucifix. Okay, but now relax. Tell us what happened to you. Why do you want a crucifix? To keep them away from me. They're going to come and they'll kill me. They will. Now, now, David, you're safe here. Calm down. Tell me why these people want to kill you. They're not people. Okay, but, but tell me about them. Tell me how it all started. Well, it all began last week when... When a school teacher of mine stopped coming to his classes. That's Arthur Waterman? Yeah. Well, well, none of us thought anything of it until the school asked me to try and find where he was. Well, you see, he's got a cabin up in the mountains off Ridge Road. I've been doing some research for him, and I knew where the cabin was. So you were going up there to see him? Well, not at first, but something came up, and I was going to be near there anyway. So I thought I'd drop by. What was it? A party. Eddie, listen... Dave doesn't have a date for your party tomorrow night. So I was wondering if you knew anybody. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Now, uh -huh. who? A girl named Susan Turner. I was talking to her today about the party. She said she wouldn't come without a date. Good. That'll work out just fine. Call her then, okay? All right, tell you what. I'll bring her over to Dave's house tomorrow about 10. That way you can all get better acquainted and you can do the introductions. Okay, bye, Jim. Well, all set. Great. Great. 
Eddie's going to bring her to your house tomorrow morning about 10. I'll call Vicky tonight, and we'll be there before she gets there. Very good. Hey, why don't we use my car as a convertible? Good, good. I'll bring something to drink, and Vicky can make some sandwiches. You mean Eddie isn't going to supply the food for his own party? Oh, well, sure. But Eddie says it's a long drive up there. We should stop to eat on the way up. Okay, we can eat by Waterman's place up there. Why do you want to see him anyway? I don't know. It's a long story. I'll tell you about it sometime. Hey, what's the name of the girl that Eddie's bringing? Uh, Susan. Susan Turner. Turner? You don't think you'd stick me with a loser, do you? Nah, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> hmm. Want a Coke? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, make it cold. Like ice, buddy. Oh, where's Vicky going? Oh, to put on her lipstick. Well, she had it on. She smeared it. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, they're here. Hey, Eddie. Hi, boys. Hey. Susan? Hey, Fielding, Jim Hudson. Boys, Sue Turner. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, hello. Hey, oh, where's Vicky? Inside, putting her makeup. Mm. Hey, do you remember how to get there? I think so. How many are going to be up there? About 50. Oh. I'm going on up ahead to get things cleaned up a little. In the meantime, you can all get better acquainted. Right. See you, man. Thanks, Eddie. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks, buddy. See you. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Susan. Hey, Susan. Well, I guess we get acquainted. I guess so. But with me, not with Jim. Oh, no, with both of you. Sounds fair. Come on inside. I'll introduce you to Vicky. After that, I want to take some pictures before we leave. Eddie seems like a nice guy, though. I mean, I just mentioned to him that I didn't have anything to do, and he invited me. I've only known him for two days. Oh? My family just moved in next door to him. Where did you live before that? In New York. Boy, was it hot there. <laughs> I guess it was. How long have you known Eddie? Oh, five or six years. Sometimes I think he's out of his mind. Jim seems like a nice guy, though. He is. Vicky seems nice, too. An awful lot like Jim. She is. That's why they get along so well. Hey! Where'd Eddie go? He already went up ahead to get things ready. Mm -hmm. I already told you that. Well, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Did you bring... Okay. Everybody line up here, and I'll take your picture. All right, everyone. Smile now. Well, Susan, move over a little bit. That's it. That'll do it, folks. I was always under the impression that Jim was a photographer around here. Ah, but in a moment, my dear friends, and you will gaze upon the faces <laughs> of the dead. That's a nice way to start off the day, calling us the dead. Boy, you can't do anything right, can you? Come on. Vicky, you got the lunches? Yeah, Dave. Mm -hmm. After you. you. Get the open. There. Do you know how long it'll take to get there? I don't know. Eddie says it takes a couple of hours. Yeah, that's what Eddie says. You got everything? Yeah, huh? Mm, yep. What about my hair? Yeah. It looks terrible. Well, it's in the glove compartment. Look at these. Well, I, 
I like to be prepared. Suave, very suave. You ready? Some phony excuse for not... Phony? I'll have you know that was entirely legitimate. There was nothing I could do about it. You turn that off. And then here's the shutter. Now, you press this button and it takes the picture. That's nice, but you probably forgot, like the last time, to put film in the camera. Nah, no, not this time. Ha <laughs> ha. Is this the way to Waterman's cabin? Yeah, I think so. Hey, let's go. Go. Looks like we took the wrong road. Maybe we didn't. We might have to walk to get there. Yeah, Waterman's place is in the woods a little way. Okay. Why don't we walk up to it and see if we can get a Coke or something? I'm thirsty. Water jug's in the car. What'd you put in it? Nothing. I thought you were supposed to put something in it. Well, I thought you were going to put something in it. Why was I supposed to? No. I, I don't... Come on, we can get something to eat at Waterman's place. Come on. Sure is pretty around here. You know, with all these trees, seems like there should be a stream here somewhere. So what? Jim. Wow. What happened? I don't know. An explosion? Uh, it's been broken down, not blown apart. Waterman's car's not here. He must have been away when it happened. Where's Vicky? Hey, babe, what? Hey, look at that. Wow. What's a castle doing in this area? What do you mean? Well, who's ever heard of a castle around here? Why don't we go up there? Sure, why not? 
Because we have to get back and call the police about Waterman. No. It'll just take a few minutes. It'll be fun. Yeah. Look, it'll take at least half an hour to get up there and back. We have to climb, you know. I know. Okay, let's take a vote. If more than half of us mm -hmm. want to well, forget up. it. Okay, Waterman might be up there. Should I remember seeing that before? Oh, come well, on. Let's go. Careful. Over there. Dark. Do you have a flashlight or something in the car? I don't think so. Matches. All right, we'll we'll make some torches. Torches. Right. The noise we heard. Yep. Maybe. Let's go and see what it was. Hey. Yeah, there's a lot of junk in here. Someone must live here. Guess I never quite a steer. Well, let's get out of here. No way. You're gonna leave? Ain't you afraid of the demon and his friends? Oh, no, we aren't. No? I don't know what you mean exactly. We heard this noise in here and flapping sound. That's the demon you heard. 
No, no, I don't think it was any demon. It was a lot of yelling and screaming and a flapping sound like a large bird. He better watch out or I'll catch him if he isn't careful coming in here trying to get the book from me. What book? Uh, I think we'd better leave now. You're not fooling me now, are you? Oh, no, no, we aren't. And you really don't know about the demon or the book? We're not after your book. The truth? No, no, we came, we came in because we heard a noise. Well, you can't leave empty-handed. <laughs> Come with me and I'll give you something. <laughs> Jim should be back with the water from the stream pretty soon. Thanks a lot for going back to the car and getting the luncheon. That's all right. Looks like we're going to be here for a little while with that castle to look at. And the book. Oh? When are we going, Daddy? A couple hours. Why? She's a little scared, Dave. I think that old man put us all on it. Speaking for myself, of course. Wouldn't that be strange if he were telling the truth? Mm-hmm. Here comes Jim. All right, who's first? Jim, do you really think we should stay around here after what that old sure, man... Sure, why not? She's afraid of seeing monsters. Ah, don't let that old man bother you. He's nuts. I know. But what about Waterman's place? Someone had to tear it apart, and who would have done a thing like that? The old man? Not strong enough. That's what I mean. Who could tear it apart so completely? You know, I looked around for tire tracks or something, but there wasn't any. Not even any footprints. And the wood wasn't cut. It was broken. And what about that weird cry we heard coming up on the way to the cave? That could have been the old man. For all I know, he could have made the footprints. For what reason? I don't know. Scare people like us, maybe. So what's going to happen? Are we going to look at the castle or what? I think we should. It won't take very long. Let's get this stuff in one bag. And we can leave the cooler here. we got to come back this way anyway. Is that all right with you, Sue? I mean, really, if you want... It's really all right if everyone else wants to. Well, let's go. Some guy knocked you down. Where is he? That way. You two stay here. Susan. Oh, where'd he come from? I don't know. Look! The castle's gone.
happened. He must have hit his head on a rock when he fell. He's dead. You sure? No heartbeat. Well, what are we going to do? Well, if I can get the girls, I guess. We can go to a police station. Grab his feet. It wasn't your fault, Dave. It was an accident. They all understand that. Come on, don't let it bother you. Don't let it bother... Don't you realize what's just happened? Yeah. Well? Where are you going? Back to Waterman. Hey, Dave, wait! He was dead. We well, was. Well, at least I thought he was. There's where you dragged him up here. So this is the spot. But there are no footprints. If he got up, there would have been footprints. It's as though he just disappeared. Yeah. If anyone else were here, we would have seen him, wouldn't we? I think so. Those footprints are our own. No one else has been up here. But Dave, a minute ago, Arthur Marlin was lying here dead. And now he's gone. Flesh, bones, blood, all are gone. Sulfur. I smell sulfur. Yeah, but what does that mean? He burned up in a bed of sulfur? Not likely. What was he working on when he called you? How should I know? Yeah, what difference would it make? Let's go back. Go back? Tell the girls what's happened. Right. And we should prepare ourselves for anything. There's something's going on around here, and we should find out about it. We should start by looking at that castle. It's not easy to lose a dead body in a castle in one day. Oh, shut up. But it couldn't have been our imaginations. Of course not. What happened to it? You just can't walk off with a castle. Well, someone did. Let's go up and have a look. If there was a castle there, it would have left a mark of some kind. How can anyone move a castle? Maybe it wasn't a castle. Maybe it was only a false front of one. Yeah. Like in the movies. Right. But what about the body? I don't know. But I can't help thinking there's a connection between it and the castle. You two stay here. We won't be long. Hey! Wait! I want to see the castle. There isn't any castle, stupid. Well, all right. What are we going to do now? Find a comfortable rock, sit back and wait for him. Yeah, it was just around that cliff. Where are they? I don't know. I can't see them from here. They must be pretty close. Hey, come on. I'll take your picture. Sure you know how to use it? Yeah, Jim showed me how. The light's not very good here. Where do you want me to sit? Why don't you sit over by the stream? About, about 20 feet from here, wasn't it? I think so. Let's 
It's the first live thing I've seen around here all day. This is it. Hold it. Hold it? What are you talking about? Now watch this. Watch? Watch what? you are. Is that okay? Okay, now just a second. Save me! Help me! Save me!
I've never seen anything like it. It's a wonder it didn't kill us all. Where do you think it came from? Looks like that old man wasn't so crazy after all. This is probably the demon he was talking about. The old man's dead. Dead? The, the creature killed him. He's back there. Well, we better not leave him there. No, we won't. Do you think this could have anything to do with Waterman? Or his cabin, maybe? Yeah, maybe so. We'll go after the body. You two stay here. Okay. Dave? Maybe we should go with them. I couldn't stand to look at that old man's body again. I'm glad we're getting out of here. After all that's happened, I've lost all my curiosity. Jim, the hand, it moved! Must have been a reflex or something. Well, just the same. Let's take him with us. Okay, come on. Things sure have a way of disappearing around here. Yeah. Two dead bodies and the castle. And I'll bet that animal's gone, too. We'll know when we get back. Back where? The cliff and the castle. I'm not so sure we should keep fooling around up here. Neither am I, but we've gone this far. I'd like to find out where that castle went and where the monster came from. Get us all killed? Uh, not if we're careful. I suppose you're right. I'd still like to climb that cliff. This time, though, we take the girls with us. Yeah, I think we should all stick together. My poor little. Right. That way, if anything happens, we have a better chance of fighting it. All right. I thought I'd let everybody know. I'm scared. Aren't we all? Well, let's get started. The thing I really regret about this is that Eddie isn't here to enjoy all the fun. <laughs> you know, if it hadn't been for Eddie's party, we might... Listen, Dave, don't let the girls know about that invisible wall until I get back. Where are you going? Back to see if I can find my camera. I just realized that no one's going to believe any of this unless we can get a shot of one of us sticking our hands into that barrier. Why don't you want me to tell the girls about it? They might want to go inside. And I don't think any of us should. At least not until I find that camera. I have a feeling that that's the hiding place of the thing you just killed. Okay, you go back for your camera. I'll look through the book and see if it has any of the answers. Are you two coming? Can't do it without us, can you? Jim's going back to look for his camera. I'll go with you. No, you go up with Dave. All right. What happened to the idea of us all sticking together? It won't take me very long. You and Vicky ought to rest anyway. Maybe so. But hurry. I will. Hope you'll be all right. You will. Come on.
anything for that matter. Oh, here comes Jim. Is that it? Yeah, this is all that's left. Never take another picture. Find anything? A little. I think the book may have something to do with the forces of darkness. You can read that? No, but there are a few pages of translation. Someone's been writing on the pages. Well, what does it say? Something about destroying evil. I can't make out all the translation. Let me see it. Matthew? Sure. something Jim and I saw while we were up here earlier. What? I don't know. It was some sort of invisible wall. What? Hey, Dave, look at this. There's a note in here. Can you read it? Yeah. This one isn't written in Swahili. Well, go on, then. All right. Arthur Waterman. What? I, Arthur Waterman, having embarked on a course forbidden to mortal man and heretofore unknowable by him which i pray in the name of god shall never again be so foolishly repeated i have deciphered in defiance of the laws of tartarus the text and meaning of this cursed tabloid which now in vengeance reaches out for my very soul already i have seen the first signs which foreshadow my doom I cannot guess how many hours remain to me, but before I perish, I must be sure that this message survives after me to serve warning on the world that the forces of darkness are far from dead. Seven months ago, a colleague returned from an archaeological excavation at the site of an unknown civilization near the Persian Gulf. Out of this ruin and forgotten wreck, he brought to me a manuscript, the last recorded communication between an ancient sorcerer and the spirit of the dead. Ignoring his warnings, I began that evening to roll back the limitations of mortality and see into the secrets of death itself. I discovered that there is a boundary which can appear at every bidding of the fiends which dwell within. Now I have found too late that this borderline, this equinox between worlds, is no barrier to him who possesses this book of the damned. Blinded by curiosity, I chose a desolate area to challenge the ancient oracle. And on that deserted hillside, I entered into the unholy world. With success came a cold, settling fear, the likes of which I have never known before. But now, forced on by a will equally as foreign to me, I gazed upon the other dimension. On this first of many journeys, I witnessed the migration of the dead to their eternal torture below, a horrifying sight which only increased my desire for the secrets of the equinox. My zeal for forbidden knowledge soon carried me past the threshold of mortal experience. The underworld could not allow one with my knowledge to live. They want not only the book, but my soul itself, and I cannot elude them much longer. Do not think you can fight them. Destroy this cursed work. Destroy it and scatter the truth. This message must not be lost again. May heaven grant my deliverance. It's hard to believe. Well, if we can't believe it, it means the creature isn't dead. And it'll be back. Or something worse. Well, let's get out of here. That thing, Jim. It was after... This. The book. And not us. It was, yes. What do you mean, was? We know the secret now. We know that if we can penetrate that barrier, we can discover the secrets of the underworld or whatever controls the creature. And we know where the barrier is. That invisible thing the bird flew into. And I bet that's where the creature came from, too. Probably so. Where are you going? You want to go over and have a look inside that barrier, don't you? Yeah, but I've been thinking, Jim. If that book is all you think it is, it's obviously important. More important, maybe, than we realize. That creature he sent after us wasn't fooling around. What if it comes back? That's my point, Jim. 
This is too important for us alone. We don't have any defense for it. And look what happened to Waterman. Don't you think we should let someone else know? I think so. But who? That's the problem. If we make a mistake, God only knows what might happen. Hey, wait, I've got this. Ah, but... Well, what can we do? Hmm. Well, I think you and I should stay here, Jim. We're not sure whether that barrier is going to be here forever. You two are going, though. If anything happens, you'll be in town, away from here. Jim, I'm staying. No, Dave's right. You two should go. At least we'll get some help that way. Well, take this, then. It might help somehow. All right? Mm-hmm. But what if we don't find a town? We could get lost and we don't know our way back. Yeah, why don't you both just leave the book and come with us? Oh, the book. I left it back there. I forgot to give him the keys. Oh. We gotta get the book. What happened in there? When the giant discovered I didn't have the book, he figured I wasn't much use. So he, he let me go. I wonder what they'll try next. Who knows? You've got to get that book to someone. That's important. I just wish I'd let Susan keep that cross. What cross? Well, Susan's cross. Don't you remember? Don't you know, David, or are you afraid to draw the obvious conclusion? What have you done with Jim? Your friend is dead. 
something we had hoped to avoid. But now it looks as if we'll have to kill all of you. You're afraid, aren't you? Afraid that if people start asking questions, they may come up with the right answers. Like Waterman. The unfortunate thing about Waterman is that once he discovered his answers, he didn't know what to do with them. That barrier is the result of his work. And for a while, the barrier shield dissolved, enabling people to see the other world without crossing over. The disappearing castle. However soon, we'll be totally rid of the barrier. But enough talking. Your meddling has caused us nothing but trouble. We were easy on you the first time. We resurrected Waterman to get the book from you so you'd think he was just a, just a thief. Then we resorted to stronger methods. And those foolish girls...
that moment, I knew I was cursed by all the forces of hell to die in exactly one year and a day. Susan was dead. There's nothing I could do, so I ran. I just had to get away. 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 So, Susan was dead. Yeah. And all the others, Vicky and Jim and Waterman? Yeah. Did you kill him? No, of course not. What's the difference? In a year from now, I too will be dead. And that's the story of David Fielding. Is there enough here for your newspaper story? No, I'm afraid not. Why not? Well, I thought that maybe something would happen. Something I could get a story out of. But this, it's a year old. Well, what did you expect to happen? I don't know. But it's been exactly a year and a day since that made news. And I wanted to get a follow-up. Then, uh, today's the day. That's right. But it doesn't look like he's going to do anything. No, I guess he isn't. But, but would you give me a call if something happens? Suicide or something. I can use that. Oh, oh, sure. Sorry if I couldn't be of more help. That's okay, Doc. He's the story, not you. Well, see you around, Doc. Thanks anyway. Oh, yeah. Glad to have helped. Thank you. 